The three Atlas engines fire to lift the vehicle away from the pad. Shortly after liftoff, Atlas begins its initial pitch and roll maneuvers to attain the proper ascent profile. This will minimize aerodynamic loads during atmospheric flight. Booster engine cutoff occurs at approximately two and a half minutes. The booster section is jettisoned seconds later. For the next minute and a half, the Atlas will be in the sustainer solo phase. Burning propellant at a rate of 280 pounds per second, the Atlas is nearly 69 miles in altitude, 125 miles downrange, and traveling at a speed of 6,000 miles per hour. During this time, the insulation panels on the Atlas Centaur are jettisoned. About 30 seconds later, the payload fairing is jettisoned. Sustainer engine cutoff occurs 4 minutes 10 seconds into flight. Immediately followed by Atlas Centaur separation. MES-1 takes place 10 seconds after separation at 4 minutes 19 seconds into the flight. Centaur and its payload are now in first burn, the longer of the two Centaur engine firings. This approximate six and a half minute burn will inject the vehicle into a slightly elliptical parking orbit. After first burn main engine cutoff, Miko 1, Centaur with the spacecraft enters a coast period of around 25 minutes. At a guidance calculated start time, the Centaur main engines are reignited to burn for just over a minute until the required intermediate transfer orbit is reached. After Centaur second burn main engine cutoff, Miko 2, the Centaur provides the required separation spin up and specific pointing attitude. Separation of the spacecraft will occur two minutes after Miko 2. <laughs> 